so much water, you're gonna need it. Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another tutorial today I'm gonna be showing you how you can do the best clone effect for your fortnite montages in adobe after effects Before I actually get into the video though I just want to say that over 70% of you guys that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel yet So if you're one of those people make sure to drop a sub It is 100% free for you guys to do and you can change your mind at a later date Feel free to also drop a like and comment and give me some feedback down below as to what you want to see in the channel in the future As it does mean a lot to and me. I just dropped an insane $5 edit pack It is everything you could ever need for editing your fortnite highlights for the low price of of five dollars so make sure to go check that out all the links to the presets and downloads as well as the timestamps will be in the description hope you guys do enjoy and i'll see you guys on my pc all right guys so i am in after effects the first thing we are going to do is just drag in the song we're going to be using i'm going to be using the song whoa by 637 godwin and we're going to find the first main beat so we're going to drop a marker down on that maybe trim it down a bit and then from the first beat we're gonna go one two three four five frames back just like this split it and then we're just gonna cut off the excess and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna press l on our keyboard selecting the top layer keyframe the audio levels down at negative 30 at the beginning go to the beat change it to zero and then from this point right here we're actually gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten do the exact same thing pretty much keyframe this at zero then keyframe the end at negative 30. And what we're going to do is we're going to space this out to give us a bit of space which is going to be where our slowdown happens that should be fine and what we're going to do now is we're going to get our over edit build up sound effect just like this that i've included in almost every single one of my tutorials so we'll actually grab these two and drag them over just right about here should be good just like that and then we'll get this sound effect we'll line it up with about this point that should be fine with the shotgun sound effect sounds good and just like that we have all the audio work pretty much done so now we're just gonna select the part of the clip we want to use for this part i would recommend something with like a player jumping up in the air or like your side jumping or something like that that way the effect can be pulled off to its full potential um but you know it works with other ones what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to line up the part with the cutoff with where the player is like fully visible and you've probably seen this clip on my twitter i'll actually include this clip just if you guys want to mess around with it so you can practice with it but we're just going to line up at the very end where this player jumps off fully so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply twixter to this clip you need twixter for this tutorial or to follow along with this effect so just add twixter pro change the frame rate to 60 keyframe the speed right on the end at 100 go one frame to the right keyframe it at 30 and then go fry five 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 frames before the kill one two three four five keyframe it at 30 so press the little keyframe button right here and then we're actually just going to adjust this to the point where we actually get the kill so like something like 750 percent should be good and then we're gonna go two frames to the side change the speed to 50. So it should look something like, honestly, it's kind of jump past it a bit more. A bit, tiny bit more. Doesn't really make that big of a difference. When we have the impact, it'll look a lot better. Uh, but what we're going to do now is just we're going to kind of find the part where we want the split effect to happen. So just to get our keyframing ideas, we're just going to add a random adjustment layer before the kill. Just like this. And we kind of want it to last only up to here. So we're going to figure out what the duration is that we're actually going to have this. So we're going to get the, one of the transform presets right here. And we'll see right here, this is where we want our thing to last. So this duration right here is where we want the split effect to happen. And obviously, we're not going to have it on this adjustment layer. We're just getting it for reference. So we're going to duplicate this layer right here. We're going to split it so it lasts just this duration of this adjustment layer. Because obviously, we'll be adding the preset to this. So we're going to delete the adjustment layer now that we know how long we need it to be. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into our roto brush. So we're just going to select this layer, 
go to the Roto brush tool right here. And pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to do a light little sketch of the actual layer. So for me, it's also saying that I need to change the frame rate to 60.001, just like this. And I'm going to go back and change it to full resolution just so we can fully see. So just like this, we can just press this little brush. And if you make mistakes, like let's say I select something outside of here, you can just press alt, select the area to delete it. So what we're going to do is just do a light mask over top of the skin and you're going to go frame by frame and to fix anything that happens. So for example, let's just say this is just my rough little mask right here. And if you want to change the size, just press control on your keyboard and just drag in or out or left to right. I mean, with your mouse and I'll adjust the size. So for example, if I want to do something smaller, I just do something like this and then we can delete the part in the middle, just like this, add this, add her braids, I guess. And you can cut out this part in the middle just like that and that should be good to be honest we're going to go to the composition just to check all right this is a still frame so it should be good and then we can see if we go to one frame to the side we can see there is a mess up area right here so we're just going to get rid of it so just kind of scribble over it and then if there are any other things that are messed up like if there's a gap or if there's something that was added that isn't supposed to be there you can always adjust it and for the most part, this should be fine. Other than maybe the occasional thing right here, for example. Actually, let's skip past it. This frame right here, we're just going to, I don't know why I did that. Kind of get rid of this little area right here. Cause that's not supposed to be here. And kind of just skip through it. See that it looks good. And that is pretty much that for the rotoscoping. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to collapse this. Obviously, if I had more time, I would have spent more time doing a better rotoscope, but it's all good. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to get the movements. We're going to duplicate this twice. One of them is going to be the center one, and then the other two are going to be the left and right. So for example, if we want this one to be the left side, we're going to apply animation preset and change this one to the left side transform. And we can see that once we let this load, the thing will pop out to the side just like that and then for this one we'll apply it to the right side transform just like that perfect and what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to toggle switches and modes first we're going to duplicate all three of these so make sure that you duplicate the right ones so we have two right sides two left sides and what i normally do is I actually rename these to right top I rename this one to right bottom and then you can always just double check to make sure that they disappear like if we go midway through let the roto brush propagate you can see that it disappears on the right so then we know we did the right one and then these ones are obviously the left so that'd be left bottom so on so on as long as you know what layer you're working with you should be good and just like that that should be fine perfect okay so what we're gonna do so every second layer so the top layer the top layer and so top layer top layer top layer for all three of these we're gonna add this preset to but first we're gonna go to toggle switches and modes and we're gonna change all of these to screen so change this one to screen change this one to screen change this one to screen this one to screen, this one to screen, and that one to screen. What that'll do is it'll kind of blend it nicer. When we add the effect, you can see that it's kind of like a weird little, I don't even know how to explain it, but you can see it looks kind of weird. But at the same time, when we add this effect to it, it'll look a lot better, trust me. So we're gonna go to quarter resolution and every second layer, like I said, we're going to actually add this. So the second layer right here, we're going to add the character color preset. The second one right here, we're going to add the character color preset. And the second one right here, we're going to add the character color preset. And what that'll do, like we can see, is it'll add the character color to every single layer, just like this, like you can see. Load real quick. Just like that, it has done the effect with the clones on the sides. You can see 
that it is a lot nicer in the middle because there are three layers there it would look a bit different if we kind of if i disabled the back layer like this but it's not as light so I, that's why i always have the back layer with the screen that's why i do that but we can see we pretty much have the clone effect done so all we got to do now is just the extra saucy touches to it so for example we're going to add an adjustment layer above kind of have it right about here we can add blur mo curves to this one just like this go to the very beginning keyframe the z distance maybe your shift x and y and then go to about here we might actually adjust this a tiny bit drag this back all right so unfortunately i didn't save my progress in that uh, project at all so make sure you're always saving but what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish off the tutorial inside of this lane switch over edit a uh, project file that i actually have which is what i originally did the effect in um so for example this screen pump i just have it go one two three four five five frames before the actual effect i have it all keyframed at one zero etc i don't know why my sub alerts are on right now sorry about that let me quickly disable that but you can see it goes from that it zooms in on the character right about here which is one two three four five six frames after it zooms in on the character keeps its position and then it goes back out to zero for the actual kill and then the impact happens so for you can see right there does it the thing right here the impact happens let me just quickly see it's kind of propagating the brush which is always annoying but i'm going to quickly show you how you can actually make it look super clean so we're actually going to delete this real quick we're going to delete the magic ball looks you can see without the lux it looks pretty plain just like this kind of what it was before um let me go back in but for this what you're going to do is right about here you can just do it on the adjustment layer you can add magic ball looks let it load and what this will do is it'll allow you to have a nice little background that allows the effect to actually pop so i believe for me what i did is I had something like nebula or isolated blue. Yeah, isolated blue is what I used right here. We add that and we can see if we let the brushes propagate, it, it adds a nice little darkened background for the actual clip itself. And then we can see the purple in here, that'll actually do a RGB color switch once we actually add the hue sat lightness so keyframe the strength of the looks at zero at the very beginning go to where the kind of screen pump happens change it to 100 let me actually fully line that up perfect perfectly and then right here we're going to go to the kill we're going to add this keyframe go one frame after and we're going to keyframe it at zero and then what we're going to do is just add another adjustment layer above it but this time end it at the actual kill versus going one frame after and we're actually going to add a hue sat lightness to this and then you're just going to keyframe the hue at zero at the beginning go to the very end and type in right here 720 and what that'll do is it'll do a full rgb hue shift of this effect so you can see that the background fully changes colors it looks super 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 clean and i definitely recommend doing that i'll have a tutorial on how to import the magic bullet looks preset in the description it's kind of contrasted right now because it is on quarter resolution and it always adds like extra white pixels when it isn't able to kind of render out the other ones because it is on quarter resolution which caps out the pixels at a certain amount but we can see that the background does a nice little rgb shift effect which is super clean and it also does it on the character just like that and we don't have the sound effect in right now but in the actual project file i do i'm not going to play it because the song is copyrighted but that is actually how you do it you add twixter you do your rotoscoping you add your kind of screen zoom in effect and obviously i'll show you what the graph looks like for this to make it so smooth just something like this to the point where it goes in a bit and then we have the the uh, curve going out 
then we have this one looking something like that and then for this one it's about the same where it kind of goes in in and then the same thing on the other side but that's pretty much how to do this effect i'm sorry my thing crashed i wasn't able or i wasn't about to redo the entire thing because it took me kind of like 15 minutes to do the entire effect i wasn't about to do it again but i hope you guys understood that i'll have an impact preset in the description if you want to use that as well as all the presets for the transforms the color switch the um looks the character glow type color effects if that makes sense but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe if this did help you out and i'll see you guys in the new tutorial peace out i know she would love me down to the ends of the earth she would show me my worth she would make me feel right not sure if it's a blessing or a curse but hey i feel worse baby i promise i'll treat you right i know remember we was running from the 5-0 we were chasing after green like i go